it's time for DB's Delight, the quiz show where DB Doorbell knows all the answers. Guy Phillips asks all the questions, and students from St. Louis area schools compete for fun and fantastic prizes. It's all here on DB's Delight. Why is it that in the introduction you know all the answers and I just ask the darn questions? Well, it's just because I know all the answers. We'll find out That's today. why they don't call it Guy's Delight. <laughs> all right. Yeah. We'll see. Who are our special guests? Our special guests today are the wild and crazy Millstat Consolidated School of Millstat, Illinois. I'm telling you, they're nuts, Guy. A wide array of students over there. Yeah, a awesome. handsome ensemble. I knew the energy was in the studio when I came in today. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. Okay, we'll get to meet some of those students in a few minutes. Oh, yeah. But we've got to meet our contestants for round number one right now, D.B. First contestant for round one is Karen Sager. Yeah. Hi, Karen. Hi, Karen. This is my favorite part of the show because they always hide the contestants until right now. Ooh, you're pretty. Yeah. Can, can you tell us something about yourself? Well, I'm 11 years old. I like to swim and play softball, and my favorite food is lasagna. Lasagna? That's Ooh. my favorite, too. Yeah. That is my favorite. Love lasagna. Yeah. Good. Karen, good luck to you. Who is Karen's opponent? Karen's opponent is Jared Hammond. Yeah. Hi, Jared. Hi, Jared. That's a different name. I like that name. How long have you had it? Well, ever since I was born. Oh, <laughs> we're crying out loud. Well, what do you know? All you that learned... time. <laughs> All that time. Yeah. You learn something new every day. Yeah. Welcome to DB's Delight, and what about your hobbies and likes? Well, my name is Jared Hammond. I'm 12 years old. My favorite sports are baseball and basketball. My favorite food is spaghetti. Okay, do you have any hobbies? Uh, I collect stamps and baseball cards. Terrific. Uh -huh. Great. Good luck to a you. A collector. Yes, a yeah. collector. A lot of glue. I on collect them. things. You do? Dust, mostly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jared, good luck to you. Ready to play the game? Okay. How about you, Karen? You ready to play? DB? Yeah, I collected some rules. Oh, yeah. that's right. I'll yeah. stamp them out for you right now. Object of DB's delight is to get as many points as you possibly can. DB starts the bellboard. I ask the question, and if you think you might know the answer, or if you do, press your button. Now, Karen, do that for me. That stops the bellboard and determines the point value of the questions. In this case, it would be worth nine points, you see? And if you got it right, Karen, you'd get those nine. But if you missed it, that's a chance for Jared to pick up nine points, because if he had the right answer, we'd give him those points. Keep your eyes on the center of the bellboard. That's our bonus star. And let me tell you something, that can really boost your score. First time you hit it, it's worth 10. The next time, 11. And then one point each time thereafter. Oh, winner yeah. of this round, round one, will play our round two winner in our winner's round. That's the third round. And have a chance at coming back at the end of the year for DB's Grand Delight. You're getting good at this. Thank you, DB. Yeah. Those are the rules. And now we're ready to play, Jared. Yeah. Okay, Jared's ready. Karen? Yep. Let's have some excitement, DB. Let's do it. Right. Yeah. Good luck, Karen. Good luck, Jared. Here we go. First question in round one. What metallic liquid is found in a thermometer? Is that cop? Yes, Jared. Mercury. That's right. Oh, yeah. Two points. That's how you play the game. It's a fast start. And we'll see if you can get on the board here, Karen, with this question. Who was the president of the United States during the Civil War? Robert E. Lee, Abraham Lincoln, or George Washington? Which of those three? Whoa. For a bonus start, Jared. Abraham Lincoln. That's right. Uh -huh. That's worth 10. And you're in double digits with 12 points. Yeah. Got a math question for you. Hope you're good at these. Compute it in the order that I give it to you. And those of you watching at home, maybe you can solve this before our contestants here in the studio. 60 minus 50 times 35. 60 minus 50 times 35 for six points. Jared. 350? That's yes. it, yeah. That's right. Oh, yeah. What is the body of land that is surrounded on three sides by water called? What do they call that? Is it? Yeah, Peninsula. Jared. Peninsula. Uh, Peninsula, that's right. Yeah, for eight more points. Okay, a 26 to nothing lead, Karen. Don't despair. You got to jump right in there, okay, and answer them when you think you can get them. Yeah. Maybe you get a couple of bonus stars. Here we go. What is the name of the Cardinal Stadium? What do they call Cardinal Stadium for two points? Bush Stadium. That's right, Jared. Good answer. Yeah. Now, a chance for you to test your musical skills. Both Jared and Karen, watch your monitors here and tell me the title of this hit done by the popular group Night Ranger. Let's watch. Great points, Jared. Goodbye. Goodbye. A oh, simple yeah. title, and that's it. And Jared, you boost your score by another eight points. Here's our next question. What does the word procrastinate mean? To delay, to hurry, or to cancel for six, Karen? Delay. Delay is right yeah. here on the board. Good. All right. Okay. What do the following have in common? 
Sooners, Cornhuskers, Wildcats, Jayhawks, and Buffaloes for eight points, Jared. College basketball teams? Uh, no, that's wrong. Uh, we're looking for nicknames of, I guess, co uh, college what? teams would be right. DB, they'd also be basketball teams. Uh, we're looking for football teams, mm -hmm. but uh, that would be the same thing. Would yeah. It? Okay. Well, no, I don't think so. I think we've got to we've got to say that they're football teams. All right. Well, we'll throw it out. Throw that question it's out. It's making okay. me sick. We'll <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Trying to figure this out, right? We'll yeah. come back. All right. Fluoride is a substance that can help prevent tooth decay. Spell the word prevent. Prevent four five. Jared. P r e v e n t. We'll yes. take that. Now. That's right. Okay. How many minutes are there in two hours? How many minutes in two hours for three, Karen? 120. 120! Yeah. Right. Interpool is what kind of international organization? Interpool, is it a banking, a sports, or a police organization? Which of those three? Banking, sports, Whoa. or police? Jared, for another bonus. Bank? No, that's wrong. Is it sports or police? Police. Police, police. Right. Interpool. And that gave you 11 points, Karen. You boosted your score to 20. It's 41 to 20 right now, and Jared does have the lead. Is your vertebrae located in your leg, your hand, or your back? The vertebrae, Jared. The back. The back for three. Yeah. Hey, guy, half a minute to go. All right, Davey, we'll hurry along, see who can win this round. Which of these names is given to a person who is an expert judge of food? A glutton or gourmet or a busboy? Which of those, Jared? Gourmet. Gourmet. Yeah. Yes, for four more. Arbor Day is a holiday set aside for honoring workers, planting trees, or harvesting crops. Jared. Planting trees? Yeah, you plant uh -huh. trees on Arbor Day. Oh, yeah. The Vienna Boys Choir, one of the most famous boys choirs in the world, is from what country? Italy, Austria, or Germany? Which of those three for three, Karen? Italy? No, that's wrong. Austria ah! or Germany? Jared, you have a chance. Austria. Austria yeah. for three more points. And guy, no more time. That's the end of round one. A great round it was, DB. Our winner is Jared with yeah. 59 points. Way to go, Jared. Good game, Karen. And uh, you got a little cat call from one of your friends here, Jared. <laughs> You'll be back to play in our winner's round. Congratulations. Good game for you. And Karen, you played a nice game, too. You oh, got yeah. 20 points. And we have some nice parting gifts for you. Listen. And for being such a great contestant on DB's Delight, you will receive this DB's Delight t-shirt given only to the special contestants on our show. Wear your new t-shirt everywhere and let friends know that you were our contestant on DB's Delight. <laughs> You think that was fun? Come on back, because we're going to do it again after this break. Stay tuned for round two next on DB's Delight. News can happen at any time, any place, no matter when it occurs or where. You've got to know. So Channel 4 has live coverage that's faster, more reliable, more in-depth. And that's what you'd expect from Channel 4. Sickness, health, symptoms, cures. What is safe, what is not, you've got to know. So Channel 4 keeps you informed with a professional pharmacist. And that's what you'd expect from Channel 4. You can't touch that bug. At the Smithsonian, I can. Right, Sandy? Right, Katie. The Smithsonian puts kids in touch with lots of things. You can try on a new face. <laughs> or launch an airplane in space. <laughs> Find out about movies and how they got started. Touch and discover. A rich man's going to fall in love with me and marry me. And take care of me all my life. When Will she grows up, car? she may be on welfare because she believes in fairy tales. At and Girls I... Clubs of America, we help girls believe in themselves. Here, they choose goals and develop skills my to achieve them. It doesn't matter where a girl Every comes day. from, as long as she knows where she's going. You mean when you were a kid, you were in 4-H, Mr. Redenbacher? Yep. And it was city and rural kids? Yep, and that's where I first learned about growing and improving corn crops and running a business, too. 4-H did all those things way back then? Yes, Billy, way back then. I joined a 4-H club in 1918. Then and now, 4-H has helped youngsters learn important skills and set life goals. When we develop our youth, we're building a better future for all of us. 
Welcome back to round two of Davy's Delight. Michelle. Yeah. Welcome back to round two of Davy's Delight. Our special guest today, Guy, are from Millstadt Consolidated School of Millstadt, Illinois. They were doing so well, they consolidated. Don't you have to add milk with that? For no, no, no. You're thinking of Condensed. Something. That's what I'm yeah. thinking of. Yeah. Okay. I'm glad they're consolidated. Oh, yeah. And we'll get over there and see if we can consolidate them even more. We're going minutes. to do that. Yeah. Here is a real kid letter from Becky Renee Cullen of New Florence, Missouri. For Hi, TV. Becky. And remember, Becky, send a picture next time you write us, because we like to get those yeah. on uh, the television. Dear DB and Guy, my name is Becky Renee Cullen. My mom and I try and answer all the questions on DB's Delight. Mm -hmm. I'm 10 years old. I have blue-green eyes, and my hair is dark brown. So which is it, blue or green? <laughs> I we need know. to know. Write us back. I am in the fourth grade, and I go to Florence Elementary School. I have a joke for you. All right. Well, what is the biggest pencil in the world? Biggest pencil in the world. Oh, Becky, you didn't even send a picture. I don't know what. Pennsylvania. Yeah, sit down, Becky. <laughs> That's All right. terrible. DB, you'll be telling Becky how uh, she'll get a couple of things in the mail. Oh, yeah, she's going to get a treasure trove of gifts, a DB's Delight autograph card with your face and mine, and a pennant and a pencil, one of the littlest pencils in the world. And later, <laughs> yeah. later on in the show, we'll be telling everybody how they can write into it. Oh, yeah. All right, let's meet our contestants for round two. First contestant for round two is Bob Murad. Yeah. Hey, Bob. Welcome to DB's Delight, Bob, and tell us a little something about yourself. Well, my name is Bobby Murad, and I'm 11 years old. Um, my favorite foods are my favorite foods are tacos and pizza, and my favorite sports are basketball and baseball. Fantastic. Mm. Are you having fun? Yes. Okay. What's the motto of our show? <laughs> oh yeah. Now we need a show flower and a flag and all that stuff. We'll work on it. Yeah. Bob, welcome to the show, and good luck to you. Do you who's Bob's opponent? Try to hold it together, guy. Okay. His opponent is Jennifer Tom. Yeah. Hi, Jennifer. Hi, Jennifer. Welcome to DB's Delight, and let's find out something about you. Well, I'm 12 years old. I like to swim and play softball, and my favorite food is pizza. Pizza. Yeah. Any hobbies for you? No. No, no hobbies, huh? Well, maybe we can come up with one before the end of the year. Maybe show. she'll win one. You we have a lot know. of prizes. You never know. Yeah. <laughs> we have a lot of them to win. Jennifer, yeah. good luck. You ready to play? Yeah. Okay, good. How about you, Bob? Mm -hmm. All right, DB, they're all set. They don't have a motto on body power, <laughs> no. I'll tell you that. No. Let's do it. Yeah. Well, just... Good luck, Bobby. Good luck, Jennifer. Oh. Okay, here we go with round two. Good luck. Jennifer, Bob, here's your first question. What part of the body does a dermatologist specialize in? Your eyes, your feet, or your skin? Jennifer, for eight points. Your skin? That's oh, yeah. Your skin. Good start. In 1927, Charles Lindbergh flew across the Atlantic nonstop from New York to what European city? Was it London, Madrid, or Paris? For seven, Bob. London? Uh, no, that's wrong. Is it Madrid or Paris, Jennifer? Madrid? Nope, it's Paris. Paris. His, his luggage went to Madrid. I know. <laughs> yeah. Gay Perry. All right, we'll move on. Eight points for Jennifer, none yet for Bob. Here is a math question. Compute it in the order that I give it to you. 45 minus 20 times 6. What does that give you? 45 minus 20 times 6 for eight points. If you can give me the right answer, Jenny. 150. 150. Oh, yeah. All right, okay. Yeah. Which is the longest river in the United States? Is it the Missouri River, the Mississippi River, or the Ohio, Jennifer? Mississippi River. The Mississippi, the mighty Mississippi. Okay, here's a, a music question for you. I want you to look at your monitors, both Jennifer and Bob, and tell me if you can give me the name of the song performed by the Cars. Watch. I know tonight she comes. All right, Bob, five I points. I know tonight. I'm sorry? I know tonight. No, that's wrong. Jennifer, can you give me a correct answer? No. Take a guess, no? All right, the right answer is tonight she comes. Oh, yeah. Tonight she comes, all right. We'll throw that one out and see if we can get Bob back on the board with this next question. Walt Disney is famous for the creation of which character? D.B. Doorbell, Scooby-Doo, or Mickey Mouse? For five, Bob. Mickey Mouse. By golly, you're yeah. on the board now. What type of symbols do you use when writing nom Roman numeral? Nom uh, Roman Bless numeral. you. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, yeah, for a bonus, Bob. Um. 
type of symbol. Whoa. I'm sorry, you didn't beat the buzzer there. Jennifer, can you give me an answer? Is it numbers, letters, or fractions? Letters. Yeah. Letters. Okay, there we go. A timid letter. Yeah. The franc is the standard coin of France. Spell the word coin. Jennifer for six. C O I N. Yeah. yeah right there. All right, what do the following have in common? Blackhawks, Islanders, Flames, and the Nordiques for a bonus, oh. Bob. They're the names of professional hockey teams. Yes, You're in the double are. digits. Good answer. 16 points for you now. Yeah. What metric unit would you use to determine the weight of an object? Liter, a gram, or a pound? For nine points, Bob. Gram. A gram, mm -hmm. right. You're in the 25. It's a close game now. You're yeah. only down by nine points. What country is Libya's primary supplier of weapons? Is it United States, France, or the Soviet Union? For Bob, for a bonus. Soviet Union? That's right, yeah. and you take the lead. Wow. Well, that's how quickly the lead can shoot back and forth, Jennifer. And hey, guys, half a minute to go. All right, D.B., you're down by three points, Jennifer. Okay, which of the following snakes spreads out uh, the skin of its neck to a flattened hood? Is that a boa constrictor, a cobra, or yes? Cobra? Yeah. A cobra, right. You take the lead. Which of the following specialists is trained to make space voyages? An astronaut, an aquanaut, or an aviator, Jennifer? An astronaut. That's wow. right. Who sang the song, Woman? Was it Andy Gibb, John Lennon, or Kenny Rogers? For a bonus, Bob. John Lennon? That's right. Wow. What a game. Guy, we're out of time. And Bob is the winner with that last shot bonus star. Unbelievable. Good game, 50 Bob. 50 points for you, Bob. <laughs> You pulled it out in the last two seconds. Nice round. Jennifer, what can I say? You played a tremendous round. Answered a lot of questions. Oh, yeah. Came down to the wire. We've got some terrific gifts waiting for you. Watch this. And for being such a great contestant on DB's Delight, you will receive this DB's Delight t-shirt given only to the special contestants on our show. Wear your new t-shirt everywhere and let friends know that you were our contestant on DB's Delight. Oh, yeah. Away, the divine ding dong is next after this break. Don't miss the divine ding dong and the winner's round next on DB's Delight. You know, children are born learners, they love to discover things, and that's where reading comes in. When kids read, they think, they learn. Look, a gastro potter shell. But when they don't read, a lot of their natural curiosity goes untapped, which puts them at a real disadvantage, both in school today and the world tomorrow. That's why there's risk. R-I-F. Reading is fundamental. That's right. RIF is a nationwide nonprofit program that gets kids into reading, not by making it something they have to do, but making it something you want to do. You see, with the right encouragement, kids do like to read. And kids who read grow up to be adults who read. Find out how you can help bring RIF to your community. Or if your kid's not reading, find out how RIF can help you in your own home. Write RIF. R-I-F. Because when a kid starts to read, the world is an open book. It was July 22nd, 1983. And Lynn got a ride with four other kids to go swimming. They'd all been drinking, and they were going way too fast when they missed the curve and hit the tree. Every time I come to a place like this, I think about the worst night of my life, the night my twin brother died. Thousands of teenagers and young adults die every year because of driving drunk. Together, we can keep them alive. I'm Phyllis George Brown. If you care about children, then you should belong to the PTA. I do. You don't have to have kids in school or even be a parent to join. All it takes is a desire to make life better for America's children. More than five million people like you are PTA members. We're working together to make our nation's schools the best in the world. We also provide programs for child health and safety. Won't you help us help children? You can make a difference. Join the PTA. And now, the winner's round on DB's Delight. Welcome back. I'm Guy Phillips. Uh, what's the motto of this show again? Uh, what is it? Yeah! I didn't
didn't get it. I don't. Let's have fun. There's what I'm sitting in between Kevin and Mark, who didn't want me to sit here. I want you to know this. Mark did not want me here. And it's time to play with the uh, consolidated folks here from Milstead. Around three, it's time for the Divine Ding Dong. Yeah. Oh yeah. Thank you. Thank you, consolidated. Yeah. Shut up. All right. All right. Now here we go. Mark, I'm ready. Mark didn't want me to sit down. Who's got jokes or riddles for the divine ding dong? How about this gentleman right here? Let me squeeze in third row. Stand up, sir, and tell me who you are. Ricky Gerard. All right, Ricky, what's your joke or riddle? What do you give a vampire for his birthday? What do you give a vampire for his birthday? Kind of a disgusting question. of the thinking time. Relax, uh, Checking Jack. account at a blood bank. <laughs> oh, Ricky. Uh, checking know. account at a blood I bank. I heard it. Sit down. I like it. Yeah. No interest there, by the way. No. Uh, who else has got them here? Here. Oh, my gosh. Let's get way down here. Let me see if I can stretch on over. All the way in the back row. Put your hand down so I can see the young lady stand up. You in the pink. Yes. Lean forward and tell me who you are. Don Smith. Well, Don, you have to get close to the microphone here. You, who are you? Don Smith. Okay, Don, lean a little bit forward. I don't She's going to gonna fall. fall down, guys. <laughs> Give her a break. We haven't had one this year yet. Yeah. Okay, what's your joke or riddle, Don? What kind of boat do mosquitoes like best? What kind of boat do mosquitoes like best? <laughs> Does that mean that's right? Is anyone out there? <laughs> yes, that's right. Oh, I don't know then. A blood vessel. What a bloody question <laughs> today. <laughs> Blood bank, blood yeah. vessel. All right, let's go for blood one more time here. This guy looks really serious about this whole thing. Why don't you stand on up here? Come on, come on up. Who are you? Doug Sisk. Okay, Doug Sisk. Oh, I, I, yeah, okay, I know you. Why did the ch chicken cross the road? Why did the chicken cross the road? I think I know this. Please, Don. Uh, no, go ahead. To get to the other side. Yeah. You're kidding. <laughs> Black and white and red all over. Yeah. That was good. Give me the pennant. I, I don't think we can give this away on that one. Can we? We can? Sure we can. Oh, We've got a hey, million of them. Thanks. Okay. Way to go, Doug. Unbelievable. He's a trickster, that's for sure. Oh, yeah. Time to play our third round. Yeah, and coming back, our winner from round one is Jared Hammond. Yeah. And his opponent, the winner of round two, Bob Merad. Hey, yeah. you guys ready to play? Oh, yeah. Okay, DB Bob, Jared, let's go. Here we go. Round three, first question, and it is. An optometrist is a doctor who specializes in treating ears, eyes, for six, Jared. The eyes. The eyes. Yeah. The eyes have it. Oh, yeah. Who became president when John F. Kennedy was assassinated? Was it Nixon, Ford, or Johnson? Which one for uh, two points, Bob? Johnson. Johnson, right. Yeah. You're on the board. Oh, yeah. Here's a math problem. Ecu uh, equated in the, equated in the order I give it to you. I don't know what the acute means. 60 minus 30 times 4. What does that equal? 60 minus 30 Whoa. times 4 for a bonus star, Jared. 120. 120. Mm -hmm. Correct. It's amazing he came up with an answer the way I read that. Yeah. The Atlantic Ocean is in which direction from St. Louis? What direction, Bob? East. East for two more points. Yeah. If you go the short way. All right, Jared has 16 points. Bob, you have four. You're down by 12. And a bonus star puts you right back in the game. Roman numeral XXX represents what number? For seven, Jared. 30. Yeah. 30 is right. Each X is worth 10. Oh, yeah. Okay, here's our round three music question. Listen carefully. This gentleman has been confused with a boss for years. He's currently... Uh, on the charts with a big hit and climbing fast. Watch your monitors and tell me the name of the song and the artist that's performing it. Let's watch. So for nine points for the right answer, Jared. Rick Springfield. And the name of the song. Don't let Beulah ring in. Oh. Oh. Oh, too late. Bob, can you tell me? Dance the World Boy. And the artist? Rick Springfield. You got it. There you go. Okay. Now you're in the double digits, Bob, and down by 10 points, 23 to 13. 
Golden Delicious, Jonathan and Macintosh are all varieties of what fruit? Bob. Um, apples. Apples, yeah. yeah. Good deal. You've got 20 points, and you're only down by three points now. What do we call the championship game of the National Football League? What's that called, Bob? Super Bowl? Yes, oh, yeah. four points, and the lead by one. Yeah. I like grapefruit for breakfast. Spell Guy, get on with the show. I'm, well, oh, I'm sorry. It's one of the questions. I'm sorry. Spell the word grapefruit for seven points, Jared. G-R-A-P-E-F-R-U-I-T. Yes. Oh, yeah. Right, okay. You take the lead. How many inches are there in two feet? Bob. 24. Right, and you have the lead. Which of the following is an Arab country? Morocco, Albania, or Chad? Which of the following is an Arab country for five points, Jared? Albania. No, that's wrong. Is it Morocco or Chad, Bob? Morocco. Morocco for five points, yes. Bob's got 37, Jared has 30. You're down by seven points, Jared. What is the scientific name for the voice box? Is it a, yeah, for four points, Jared? Larynx. Mm -hmm. Larynx, yeah, that's right, okay, close enough, good. If you receive an invitation marked RSVP, you should respond to the sender, return the invitation, or bring a gift. Which of those, Jared? Respond to the sender. Right. Yeah. Wow. This man, Produced the first effective vaccine against polio. Who was he? For two, Jared. Louis Pasteur. No, that's wrong. Was it, uh, well, Louis Pasteur was one of the choices. Sir Isaac Newton or Jonas Salk, Bob? Jonas Salk. That's yeah. right. For two more for you. Hey, you have guys. Once again. Only 40 seconds to go. Okay, D.B., it's a seesaw battle. Yeah. Canada is divided into what type of political divisions? Bob. Take a guess, quickly. Uh, Congress. No, that's wrong. We'll have to go to you, Jared, for four points and the lead. It is uh, known as, uh, they are known as states there. Canada is divided into what type of political divisions that we know as states? What do they call them? Colonies, uh, counties, or uh, provinces? Provinces. That's right, yeah. provinces. I'm sorry, okay. Let's move on. France made the first attempt to build the Panama Canal. What country completed the project? Was it for six points, Jared? Panama? No, that's wrong. Great Britain, United States, or Cuba, Bob? Cuba? No, that's wrong. The U.S. And guys, that's the end of the winner's oh, round. Great round, and Jared, you yeah. are a winner with 42 points. Wow. Good game, guys. I mean to tell you, that was a hard stop. Oh, yeah. Great deal. You may have a chance coming back at the end of the year for DB's Grand Delight, but let's think about right now, for the time being, we have some great gifts for you. Here they come. And for winning today on DB's Delight, we hope you'll enjoy this AM-FM pop-out stereo receiver. Use it at home or pop Ooh. out the... FM receiver. Tonight, by tomorrow morning, I'll guarantee your nomination and your election. You live in Perry, Kansas. Out of that dang grain embargo. I don't believe you, Dick. You're talking about a few votes from Kansas. We're talking about survival. We have 15 and 16, 300 rounds, 5.56 ammo. I need the time. What the people who can give it?